Airtable just released perhaps the most requested Airtable feature of all time, the ability to have dynamically filtered linked records. So imagine you choose a country and you want to filter down to the cities that are in that country. Or you want to select contacts, but only contacts that work for a specific company. These are both great use cases of these dynamic filters. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we help companies like yours get automated by creating apps, portals, and integrations. For our main use case today, we're going to take a look at project management. Imagine that we have a task here, and we want to assign someone to this task. Now, right away out of the box, we see everybody on the team, and there's lots of people to scroll through. We don't want to have the ability to assign just anybody on the team. Instead, we want to only be able to select from relevant assignees, people who are already working on this project. So in our data, it's important that on our projects table, we have a link to our project team, something that identifies who are those resources. And in order to do this, we're using a linked record. So I'm on projects and you can see if I edit this field, that this is a link to my people table. Now, if I take a look at my tasks table, it's also important that we have a link to the project itself. So our assignee field is going to be the field that actually has that dynamic filter as a part of it. Let's go ahead and edit this field. Now, just to be clear, this assignee is an actual link to this people table. It's not a link to the different members or users of Airtable. So I just wanna make sure that we're clear here. Now, in this case, you'll see a new option to filter record selection by a condition. We're gonna to toggle this on. Now, just for some context, we've had the ability in the past to limit record selection to a view. So if I turn this on, it is possible to say, hey, we only want to limit this to people who are full-time employees, or we wanna limit this to contractors. But what this doesn't do is actually take into consideration the context of the task that we're on. So we're gonna turn this one off and we'll show you how this works We'll turn on that condition. Let's add a new condition. And here, the fields that we're looking at are going to be from that people table itself. So we've got this linked relationship to our projects, and then it's going to be has any of, and you'll see there's this little gear icon. We can click on this, and this is where we have the ability to choose a dynamic condition. Once we select that, we can choose the drop down, and you can see that we can now choose a field from this table to dynamically filter based on that. So we'll choose now our linked project field and confirm the change. And now back in our interface, if we click on that assignee, we're only going to see those three individuals who are already assigned to that project. We don't have that whole list of people to scroll down. It's only those relevant people. Now let's talk about some of the limitations that we have. So I thought another good use case might be we have these individual users and they each have a role at the company. So we can see that we've got design, engineering, research, and product. Well, what if on our tasks table, we also had a role and we said that this task defined features for coding education platform, let's say that was part of research. Well, we could also use the same idea of having that conditionality to dynamically filter based on the role we assign it. Now we only want to find people who are researchers. Now we do have the ability to add a condition and select that role field, but unfortunately, if you click that gear icon, you only have the option here of a static condition. It does not yet support a dynamic condition. I think this is kind of a bummer because I would guess that after linked records and users, that probably most people are going to want to use single selects to be able to have this dynamic filtering. And that's something that's not currently supported today. Now, Airtable does mention that you could convert your single select into a text field because text fields and number fields are also supported. Now, I was a little curious if this meant literally a text field or we could use a formula to render something as text. So I did do an experiment where we wanted to use a formula and it output as text, but unfortunately we don't have the ability to use that dynamic condition. So there's really no great workaround for this. Yes, you could convert it to a text field, but people probably don't want to take their single selects and make them into text fields. You could use an automation in the background to update it, but that feels a little bit wonky to do it that way. So I'm assuming in the future that that's going to be supported. I think it's a little bit more complicated because when you have single selects on two different tables, they have different IDs in the background. So I get that there's a little bit of complication to it, but I'm really hoping that's something that we'll see in the future. Now, I was excited to see that text and numbers are supported because that does open a world to another set of use cases. Imagine we're doing something with inventory management, and I know this is a terrible looking screen. I didn't actually set up all the fields for this, but imagine that we have different warehouses or locations and we have the quantity of some product on hand. 
So location A doesn't have any quantity, location B and C has this number. Now, if someone is placing an order and they request a certain quantity, in that record, they're looking for five of this object. Well, we could set up our logic on the warehouse to be able to say, let's filter by that condition. And we're gonna use quantity on hand and say, if it's greater or equal to, and then we're using this dynamic filtering again, we're doing it on a number. So if it's greater or equal to the quantity requested. So in this case, if I'm requesting five and I now open up my warehouse picker, it's only going to allow me to select location B or location C, not location A because we don't have that inventory on hand. Simply changing this value to six and clicking on this again now means that we only have location C available to us. So another question I had is where exactly is this functionality supported? So we saw it working in an interface. Well, how about just in our standard grid view? And you can see that yes, in fact, this honors the same logic. It also works in the new forms that we have available and it works in the old forms as well. I hope you're as excited about this new feature as I am. If you have any questions about your own Airtable setup, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30 minute consultations.